All right. This is Shane Armando at the Classic Gaming Expo 2004. I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Billy Mitchell, and the soon-to-be man, myth, and legend, Steve Wiebe. Uh, welcome, gentlemen. Uh, Billy, you've been on the show before. Well, my first welcome question Steve. is, is it Steve Wiebe or Wiebe? Wiebe. Yeah. I keep He's saying Wiebe, and people are saying Wiebe. No, it's Wiebe. I go, how about just Steve? The Steve works Steve. for me. Yeah. I'll be known by first name basis. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, Billy, let's start with you, because we got to talk to you. The, everyone's, everyone, as you know, for some reason thinks that you came off arrogant on our last on our last show. Well, what's everyone? Do you have their names and addresses? I'd like to have it. <laughs> I <laughs> bet you would. Go to retrogamingradio.com. Go to where we download this show, and it has a feedback section. And they, it and does it have the real name, of course, because people hide under pseudonyms. But but it's you too. When I did the interview, you said, "Come on, push the issue. Push the issue." That's right. I'm simply going by your advice. I, we thought the interview was. I, I thought so too. I don't I understand. Like do do have you been told that from other interviews or other sources? No, and that actually, you're like guy? right after I would set a world record on more than one occasion, I I, I said uh, I said I'm sorry, I can't talk to anybody right now. You know, because you are you're full of yourself. Of course. And uh, you know, a day later, you're sort of even keeled, and I you know. I mean, people. I wish people could see by that. You're laughing. He's got this big old shit. <laughs> he's all right he's all kicked back. He's a, he doesn't look like. Up, like no. no, not at all. I guess oh. maybe something you have somebody you have to meet. <laughs> but in any event, we don't care Life. whether they think you're arrogant or not. Life's we been wanted good. you to back. Yeah. So tell us what's uh, been going on this year for you. Um. Well, in the business world, in the video game world, in the uh, just in all the, the above. All in, the above. In, in like the interview world, like people sure. with like smut stations trying to interview you, or which one are you referring to? Smut, <laughs> smut stations. <laughs> Playboy trying to interview? No, I, I was nice. talking about what's the name of your guys' show? No, I'm just oh. <laughs> I see how that's going to be. No, no, it, it's gone great. Um, what I liked is more and more we're starting to dwell into uh, the world of uh, CPL and um, things outside of classic gaming. Believe me, classic gaming is my fe favorite and it always will be. But uh, you meet a lot of neat people in the other world. I find that like when you're dealing with first-person shooter people, uh -oh. Uh -oh. it's like real intense. So it's, it's less social. It's... Uh, when you sit there and play a first-person <laughs> shooter, you don't have a buddy next to you. It's not like you want to play doubles or something like that. Right. So they're uh, they're in a ne more narrow world. And uh, we've actually that commented that on that up on the show before about the multiplayer land stuff, removing social aspects of video gaming. Yeah, and um, it's uh, I don't know, it's educational, <laughs> but, but 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 it is. It's really fun because I I when I go to those, I was at the one in Dallas, and people came up to me to say hi and get their picture taken because they met me at the Tokyo Game Show, or they were people from Sweden and Italy. It's more diverse, and uh, so it's a lot of fun. Now, tell me the secret of the pimp daddy that is Billy Mitchell, because we're sitting at the alumni dinner. Billy just sitting here minding his own business, and these two hot blondes just pop up out of nowhere. I mean, in the <laughs> middle of the alumni dinner, I think somebody was even speaking when they came over to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, right in the middle. I mean, they were rude enough to get up and come over and pimp on you. And they walked in front of the speaker. They walked in front of the speaker to get yeah. to you. What's, Explain the attraction. Is it the hair? Is it is it the sunken the, eyes? The tie. Is it the is attitude? It, is it the a, is it the arrogance? It's Help arrogance? us out because you know no, it's, that it, never happens to me. It all has to be a balance. It's a oh, it's a perfect balance <laughs> of all of the above. But the girls came over and said, "Are you Billy Mitchell?" He said, "No." No, yeah, I, 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 I said up. I said no. I go. He is. Yeah, funny. Yeah. And, and the thing, is, and the thing is, maybe I had him smoke, but he starts laughing and gives it away. <laughs> yeah, I should have. You could have had that all night long, dude. And so no, and, and what was neat was um, we're there and uh, I wanted to give him something and autograph something because they wanted an autograph. And so Walter, you know Walter. Walter doesn't move very quick. No. So he leisurely walked to the booth and got a couple of things. He leisurely walked back, and I was talking to him the whole time. And I says, uh, I says, Walter's mad because he would rather me go get something so he can stay and talk with you. And one girl goes, you mean he gets jealous easy? Yeah. She goes, oh, he's going to be jealous. So when she handed us the camera, I handed to Steve, and one sat on each leg and yeah. snapped the picture. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, Walter man. was not a happy guy. So that's the pimp daddy secret. you got to sell out your friends to get the pimp daddy. <laughs> if it works. Hey, that's Mac in there. And, and this was my first interaction with Steve, so I figured we'd start Steve off right, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Give him two blondes. That yeah. pretty much breaks the ice with anybody. Two <laughs> blondes. <laughs> no, but they were. <laughs> well, the first thing I asked them was, I go, while Walter's headed for the uh, stuff and they're getting ready to do the picture, I says, so you here with your um, husband or? No, 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 no not a, oh boyfriend. No, no, no. I go. Oh, wow. Okay. Open season. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so well, you know, I don't want to get caught in a controversy. No, so. of course not. No. Okay, but no, this will shock you, and we're gonna tell this 
to the radio. And um, I do this. I don't know if you saw me do it. You've seen me do it. Obviously, the attention is flattering. Okay? If you got that attention and you told me it wasn't flattering, you'd be lying to me. Of course I would be. Okay. Um, and you know they'll say you're arrogant for saying this. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but I appreciate the attention. But here's where I'm going to save myself. When it's somebody, like a beautiful woman like that, who's overly responsive. Right. Probably in my more immature age, Days, I would have taken greater light to it, but now I'm saying, "Oh yeah, thank you. Oh, you're oh wonderful. You're very beautiful." I said, yeah. "Oh, by the way, here, let me show you a picture of my wife." Nice. I carry it in my pocket. <laughs> that you know, that's a and she can stop traffic. He's a smart yeah. man. Yeah. He's a smart She's man. Hot. That, yeah, he that's hot. Yeah. Picture, uh, but yesterday. so I, I am a little responsible. In other words, I like to flirt, but then I know. Yeah, did your wife make you put that in your pocket, or was uh, that like? No, she doesn't. As a matter of fact, there was one reporter lady here who was like so overly nice to me that I actually called my wife and I says here talk to this lady and <laughs> tell her what it's like to be my wife wow so and I nice. do that because number one it's fun I like to embarrass people and pick on them in a nice way do you ever consider putting a wedding ring on that might take away um, that might help no because it might interfere with game yeah with game I didn't bring that oh, oh, oh. oh my wife would never buy into that I'm going to try let that me next tell time you. we come nah, let me you tell you if the game. picture doesn't stop them the ring's not going to stop them that's true that's true so. Actually, that's an that's a, an attraction. It's the ring. A lot yeah. of women do go challenge, challenge. Yeah, yeah and they think they can get Banzai! the ring too. Banzai! Face your bets now. Okay, enough about you, Billy. We'll get back to you, right. Steve. Well, I'll wait here. <laughs> yeah, stay right there. Steve, tell us yeah. a little bit about yourself and why you're sitting here next to the great Billy Mitchell. Well, um, I'm just in between jobs. I'm, a, I'm going to be a school teacher. I've really? What are you going to teach? Computers. Math. Yeah, computer. Uh, <laughs> actually, a Donkey Kong at a, a Bellevue Community College. Yeah, the, a, Donkey actually. Kong 101. <laughs> yeah, nice. Donkey Kong. So you're teaching math at uh, high school well, level? No, um, middle school or middle junior school. high level. Cool. My wife's a math teacher, so oh, I have to ask. Great. Yeah. So, oh. by the way, my wife's a teacher. Oh, by the way, what does she yeah. teach? Is by your wife way. a teacher? If not, you're not qualified to be by here. By the way, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say, by the way, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but I haven't had, a, I haven't found a job yet, so I've had plenty of time to be playing video games. And sure. My hist work history, I've been laid off in a few businesses so I've had a no lot fault of, of your own no fault I went, you. what was at Boeing but that gives a positive contribution to gaming time that's right yeah like when we were all teenagers no bills no responsibilities yeah I felt yeah, like the I've, same idea I've been a kid mm -hmm. like I haven't grown up yet so it's been nice mm -hmm. don't so do I, it yeah don't do it <laughs> it sucks yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I purchased a Donkey Kong machine off of eBay what did that say you back I gotta know it wasn't too bad I was 300 but then shipping, shipping was another shipping's another <laughs> well it came from Portland I live in Redmond so oh. Oregon to Washington well, isn't too bad that's they that's trucked it up they didn't have to so um so I bought one it was like about 350 total that's not bad. so um and started playing uh I was pretty good at Donkey Kong already then Donkey Kong Jr. was a game I wanted to master as well so I got it I bought a Donkey Kong Jr. machine first and then I got this Next comes Donkey Kong 3. Yeah, Donkey Kong. You know, everyone asks about Donkey Kong 3. I have no interest in Billy. No. You know, I didn't like it as a kid. It but should I be illegal. It's, is what it's, like. <laughs> I, it's, it's one of those things that's just like uh, any other movie sequel. You know, sometimes yeah. the movies stand good on their own, yeah. but not part of the series. Yeah, Friday yeah. the 13th, part 13. 13, yeah. yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah although I like it at standalone, but if, if, if it was named anything other than Donkey Kong, it probably would have been better because it really doesn't have anything to do with Donkey yeah, Kong. So. Yeah, could Anyway, so. please continue. we got segue. So, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I didn't realize what the record was. I, I knew I had scored well in the, in the 90s. I had bought a machine and had it in my fraternity, a Donkey Kong machine. And I, I bet was, that made you popular. Yeah, a lot of Donkey kids. Donkey Kong 101. Not kids, but a lot of friends would come over to my room and be playing. So is that, your, is that your Mac Daddy pimp thing to get on? Yeah. Is, is, did, did Donkey well, Kong get you late? It didn't attract too many women. No, Plus, I was dating my wife. <laughs> oh, well, I, I couldn't play the field. Well, they sure. said he was a monkey, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, no, I, I was... You met your wife. don't like Donkey Kong. Well, yeah, actually, high like school that. sweetheart she was. That's, so I, that's good. So I couldn't play the college field like I... That's too bad. So yeah. So, so I was busy playing Donkey Kong while all of my other friends were drinking beer and, and going But on. I don't understand. You've explained these things to me. Your wife isn't very supportive at all of your video game career. No. That's if, not smart. <laughs> if you didn't have Donkey Kong 
occupying your time in college, you would have been playing the college field. Yeah, so it she seems like she really <laughs> liked Donkey Kong. You, you yeah. would think that women would appreciate the fact that you're yeah. tied to a computer, you're tied to video games, well, but you're in the house. They know where. Yeah, she knows I'm in the garage. Right. I'm not outside. Right. You know, you can control what goes in and out of the garage. Yeah. You know, you're not drinking necessarily. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I, I don't understand think you why women stop don't play and start drinking. They got some strip clubs. Yeah. 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 Start doing lots home. of cocaine, which yeah. you know that. Yeah. Pretty much, you know, <laughs> where makes did the cocaine come from? <laughs> it was, a, I think, it was a Sam Kennison thing. But anyway, <laughs> that was a great bet. I love that one. Yeah. Anyway, so I didn't realize that I, I was scoring in the nine hundred thousands, and I I got to this kill screen, which I thought was when I first encountered it. It was like, what happened? Yeah. I don't know what when you were in public when you first got it, right? Yeah. What was your it first was like reaction? It's like, huh, what this happened? Machine break? Is this and something? Yeah, wrong? because nobody uh, nobody had ever been there, and I go. Well, I don't know what happened, man. I was on my last guy. And, and you couldn't see it happen again. Yeah. Maybe I got hit by a barrel. I didn't even yeah, see I it. I thought it was an invisible <laughs> barrel. Yeah, I was going, this is getting hard. It does the whole death routine and everything? And yeah. then you just hang yeah. or lock up? Yeah, yeah. when you run, because yeah. both of us, we would run, and you run nonstop, and you're always at the same point, always. So then you go, what happened? So then I says, well, I'm just going to avoid that ladder. And he still hit me. Yeah. I mean, there's, yeah, and the thing is when people like yourself say, well, describe what happens. Is it like wild barrels all over the place and you just can't get away? <laughs> Instead of describing, it's easier just to say, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so. what happens. Yeah, <laughs> it's easier than, than the truth. It's, not, it's, just, it's, just, it's just like you're hit with something invisible and you die. And you yeah. restart the level or is, it, is the game over or yeah. what? Well, if you have if another it, guy, you what? get to die again. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> if you, and if you don't move, do you still die? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that wow. Sucks. That's pretty messed up. So if anyone can get by that screen, I think you're offering a 100,000, right? Well, no, but I'll do it <laughs> over the air right now. We're going to talk 100,000 for that screen. 100,000. Just like 100,000, if anybody thinks they can beat a perfect score on Pac-Man. Get through the scrambled screen. Right so, so what you're saying is, is that Donkey Kong, like Pac-Man, is really a fixed score. There's a way to score a perfect game of Donkey Kong. I don't no. think. Yeah, no. no. Because there's a random element. You get 300 for a barrel, 500 or 800. I suppose if you got all 800s, well. And then. So there's no way. To, I thought that the points were a barrel. closer to the barrel when you jumped over it. I thought yeah. if you if the near the the closer you are to the barrel when you jump or the more near miss that it is the more points oh. you got. You thought wrong. I thought wrong. Right. <laughs> That's what I thought. See, it shows what I know. I do know how to get, play infinitely on fifty cents on Donkey Kong Junior. Though. Oh, you, you know yeah, that you know trick. I know that trick. That's a great trick. The suicide jump. Yeah, I love. I that. need to be shown that trick. <clears throat> Did you come, you come up with that? I'm well sure I, I read it in a book. Well, I stumbled into it. I mean, I didn't create it. I just it was like wow. And then I told Nintendo, and this is back in 1982, and they go. Uh, yeah, we did check into it. Uh, do us a favor. Don't tell anybody about it. Man, I already told magazines about it. It was too <laughs> late. Sure. All the arcade owners would come come back to you. Hey, you owe us money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it causes all kinds of odd things. I mean, I don't know how it much does, you've done it. Really? 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 Show no, me. Yeah. I mean, I've actually seen the birds fly backwards. Oh, really? Yeah, you got really? I've never. I've, I've done that. For, does, it, does it only happen later on? Uh, no, it happens right on the first round. Two, two players. You'll yeah. die. Right. It'll put it back to the other player and give right. your man back. Right. Yeah, and that so causes weird things to happen. I've never yeah. saw it cause anything weird. Oh yeah, weird. They they never fixed it then. Um, no, I don't. It, it's difficult to do. It's, it's very hard to do. So it's I don't think it affected their income any, and I don't want to say the video game companies are only about money. No, <laughs> no, no. I, 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 we, we don't say things that. like that here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, interesting. So uh, anyway, continue with your story since oh, we got so got so late here. Yeah, I was scoring in the nine hundred thousands. Encountered this kill screen. I. I go, well, we'll have to get to that level again to see what happened. And the next time I got there, I had two men, so I was killed twice. So then I said, well, what's the point of continuing? <laughs> you know, that's probably what Billy thought. I was like, so I sold it, and then I was always curious what the high score was. So I looked on the Internet about, you know, about five years ago and saw that it was Twin Galaxies had a list of scores, and I saw it was 874,200 or 900. I can't remember what it was now. Mm -hmm. And by Billy Mitchell, so I, I didn't know who Billy was yet. Um, I don't know if you had the perfect Pac-Man yet, but I, I, when I was looking around, I, f I found out you had perfect Pac-Man as well. So I thought, well, I can, I know I can beat 874,000, and so I went and bought another machine off eBay <laughs> and went through this quest. And Did you pay 350 for that one too? That was the 350. Oh, that was the, that was the, the original one. I paid 400, That's and I stuff. sold it for 200. I, but I first you bought a Donkey Kong Jr. First you bought a Donkey Kong. The, the first, Donkey the first Kong. one back in 1990 was a straight Donkey Kong. Oh, okay. And that's so now you have a Junior. Now I have a Junior with yeah. a Donkey Kong board, and then I yeah, can. Yeah, because in the picture them. they took with you, yeah, it was Is a Donkey a Kong Junior. Yeah, cabinet. I wish I should. I wish I had the. But the boards are interchangeable, so yeah. Right. By the way, you can also interchange a Donkey Kong Three board. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but there's actually um, in Popeye, you got a 
Popeye. Yeah. I would like to do Popeye. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to Popeye's turn the monitor because it's horizontal instead of vertical. But yeah, if you can engineer something where you press a button and it rotates, you know, that'd be. You can make. Yeah, I saw of someone has something on a swivel thing. Where they could just swivel, like, oh, yeah. like the new monitors go landscape or portrait. Yeah, oh. they, they actually rigged up like a Wells yeah, Gardner to do that. Things like that before. Like, I need to get one of those. Definitely. May I have your attention, what? please? What? We're supposed to be back here. There has been a we don't stop. No, oh, yeah, it's like. There has been a fire reported. Hey, in the Donkey building. Kong, there's fires. It doesn't stop us. Being verified, Did my son the pull the fire alarm? We'd like you to proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. We'd like Please you to lose the last the hour of your show. Please do not use the <laughs> elevators, <laughs> but proceed to the, to the nearest exit and leave the building. Does it go till five? Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Yeah. I want to see that Donkey Kong Jr. trick. I've never, I've heard about it. Really? Alright, right, good. We can stay here. If you smell smoke, then... <laughs> yeah. some, some, like, some kid bumped into our... Yeah. Or it's it's a, now being verified. It might be one of those drills where the occasional... Yeah, the drill. Hotel Administration yeah. Association requires yeah. them to run five a year. Yeah. I know. Let's do one of those <laughs> loser classic gamers yeah. are here. <laughs> That'd be great when they're all in the middle of their rec record games. <laughs> That's how you know, you know, if the fire's coming if you leave your perfect game of Pac-Man at that point in time. Yeah. Until <laughs> Screw that. I'd rather burn up than to start this yeah. over again. <laughs> right. Until you feel the heat. Yeah, the <laughs> oh, man. We're going to just, we're going to try to continue? Were you out there? Is, like, everybody really clearing out? Yeah. Bullshit. Did you send any more DVD? What? Did you send any more DVD? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did really? Yeah. I mean... So, so the people, they were running out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, you sir, they you man. The door until they couldn't get out until they bought a DVD. <laughs> That's good. Life preservers for the DVD. I'm still recording. Right? Yeah. Leap. Do you just want to keep going? Yeah. Okay. Until they annoy us again? Okay. So I guess getting back to uh, when I found out the record, I bought the Donkey Kong uh, off of eBay. This was the Ju Donkey Kong Jr. And then... I first went for the junior record, which Billy also owned, and I, <laughs> there I found out there was a kill screen as well. It was. But did you, when that happened, did it not shock you? Did you, it, you was, sort of expect it? I was, it, I, I knew what had happened. I was, ex I thought they might have fixed that in this version, but of, of course they must, they didn't. Wow. So I, I was going, I was going full speed, not scoring points, and I only had like six hundred thousand or something, 650,000 and I, when I got to the kill screen and I saw Billy had 957 so I was going, boy there's a lot of points <laughs> to be scored yeah, here. Actually I only got to level C, which yeah, is level, what, level 18. So you 19. had a couple more levels, so yeah. So is, it, is it the same level? Yeah, on, 22. On but they, yeah. they number them, there's a... <laughs> that's what <laughs> happened, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what it is is you go through levels 1 through 9 yeah, and there's 7 black levels and A, B, C, D, E, F. I don't know too. why they did that but that way. But yeah. they, so they kept the levels in hex. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay, that's what they did. Okay. So then I went towards the Donkey Kong record and scored uh, 947,200. But that was on a Donkey Kong Junior board, which when I purchased it, I made sure I talked to uh, the designer, Scott Brasington, and I said, I'm going to be going for a record. Is this the exact gameplay he said of course it is he's uh, not going to say not because then he won't have any sales yet. right so we, well, you got to be careful where you get your boards yeah it's yeah. right now there's so many bootleg versions so right there was a lot of um discussion going on about how it, it was already verified by a, a referee at twin galaxies before he knew of the existence of a donkey kong double donkey kong so there was always the you know when you when you're gonna take back a record there's always a little bit of you know it's, you don't want to do that you might raise a red flag like what's going on and they're taking records away so there was a little bit of hesitation so I think they went ahead and reclassified it under Don double Donkey Kong I don't know if they ever actually did that but I went ahead when I found out their um, double Donkey Kong was not e exact gameplay I went and bought a, an original straight Do Donkey Kong and then scored 985,000. So it, that pretty much eliminated any double Donkey Kong controversy. So that cleared the, cleared the air. Um, and then 
I, uh, I went ahead and I was still going for the million. Billy is, was in the process of working on his game for the million. He's been doing it for probably a year, right? That's for the secret from that, yeah. right? No, that's not the secret. But he was really that's secretive. That's he not. wasn't giving anything yeah. away there. So. No, these guys know me. I don't give out information. Yeah. My part-time job's like with the CIA because I'm very qualified. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so after 985,000, I got 999,500, which was just like a fireball hit away from a million. That was probably on like around July or June 29th, right before July 1st. And then the fourth, on the 3rd of July, I scored a million 6,600. And then Billy's came in, and he already had scored like a year ago, right? Was yeah. it? He had a million, but but he didn't want to reveal. He was going for his ultimate yeah. score. He didn't want to like put out some intermittent score. Yeah. But he's breathing down my neck. But I yes. mean, you know, I mean, I'm pressure's on. When I had the nine hundred ninety nine thousand five hundred, I actually talked to Billy, and he he was. I don't know if you were ready to turn your tape in, or you thought maybe he won't get it, and I don't, I don't know what he was yeah. thinking. So why don't you relax for a while? You yes, know, but he take a vacation. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. So then I turned mine in, and then Billy um, turned his in. So they're so both being verified now. Yeah. So, so it's in the good hands of um, Robert Mirzak, right? Not right. His name. Yeah. Explain to people who right now are thinking that you two have both lost your minds. What is well, it about? You have to if you're a video game player, right? <laughs> That's true. That's Everyone. prerequisite. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> what? Anybody who excels in any area, you have to be somewhat obsessive. Yeah. It takes an obsessive behavior to do anything. That's true. I mean, Barry Bonds has to be sort of obsessive about what he does in order to be on top of what he's doing. Or Michael Jordan. Or yeah. yeah. Interesting. So, so who ended up with the higher score at the end if both tapes are verified is good? No, we're not giving out that information. Oh, come on. Why do I have you guys in here then? <laughs> no, no, just to get aggravated. So you guys, so neither one of you know what your score, the scores are on the tape? Oh, You don't well, know what his score is and you don't know what his score no, is? No, we're waiting for it to be verified. Oh, yeah. It'll come out. But it's going to be like on the AP press, war, or press line or what? Oh, no, it'll on? be on, I'm sure it'll be on CNN, the nighttime Fox talk News. show circuit. Yeah. Is that, are you going back out on tour, Bill? We've already had some phone calls. Really? Yeah. Wow. You don't, th you don't think, you'd think people wouldn't care? Um, no, I, I, different shows, like especially Jay Leno, I think he's into gimmicky stuff. And uh, I w years ago, I was supposed to go on um, Dave Letterman. Right. But, um, I mean, the nerve of the guy. He had a heart attack, and I couldn't go What's on the show. What's that all about? Yeah. <laughs> He's got oh a lot yeah. of nerve. <laughs> so, but, um, and then the Jimmy Kimball show was called. And it's, uh, I think it's because it's something people relate back to from when they were a kid. Sure. And it's something that, without sounding too arrogant, <laughs> <laughs> Many people, you know, I mean, when you play, I mean, whatever you play, you want to do the best, you know. When you do your show, you want to have the best show. Of know? course. And uh, so it's something that most people admire to a small degree or another. They all say that we have too much time on our hands. and Th yeah. I believe that. They <laughs> all say, yeah, if I had that much time, I could do it too. What, well maybe yeah, I could, and yeah. I mean, you let the cat out of the bag. You shouldn't have told him you're unemployed, I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to bust your chops for that. Dot com or right? No. Yeah. Oh. Well, I actually did get, I was in software testing and got laid off of there. So. Yeah, where, and where are, you, uh, lo where are you located that they have trouble finding a job teaching math? I mean, my uh, wife was like being pulled really? 20 directions well, when I she got certified. I was <laughs> told the math teachers are in high demand. Right. But That's yes, I'm in uh, Redmond, Washington. So any uh, school districts out there? Yeah, <laughs> you're my man up with a yeah. job. Oh, man, that's funny. Uh, but uh, are, are you married? No, yeah, you're married. My right? wi I, I wanted to score some babes too, so I took, so my took the ring off. <laughs> <laughs> you tell your wife that the, you're wearing the 50 mile wedding ring this time around. Yeah. After the 50 mile radius, <laughs> just falls off. Yeah. Yeah. Too funny. Well, I'm so used to, right now. I'm actually painting houses to kind of make ends meet. So I'm used to not wearing a ring. So. Sure. So, he, so he's painting. Maybe yeah. you should take up make tracks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> On that. Well, yeah. Billy, what a, now you always have a fascinating, fun life going on when you're not sitting down here talking to us. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what have you been up to the last year? What was the big secret you couldn't tell us about last year? Well, on a serious note, now I only get serious for a second. I had like a personal tragedy I went through, mm. um, the friend that I lost. So with that aside, I got back on track. And... Um, if, if I was trying to achieve, and honest, 
you can sit here and pick on people and say, hey, wh what's he not telling us? There isn't one person that knows. Matter of fact, you know like a tiny bit. Maybe, yeah. And like somebody a tiny bit, nobody knows the whole story. But take 100% of what I'm trying to achieve and 60% of it I could achieve right here, right now. The next 20% is difficult, but I can just about do it. The last 20% requires some luck. Once I get up to that 80 percentile, then I'll just stick with it until the 20 percent comes through. So, and of course, I got your, uh, I got your card, so I'll make sure you're. Well, definitely that. need to know all about that. Gotta tell us. So, uh, what's the you? Were you over in Japan at all? No, this I'm last year. Go to South America. I'm opening a sales office in South America because they use a lot of hot sauce. <laughs> but what I like is I go down there, and when I go down there, you just send like a little press release, and then everybody wants to talk to this video game guy and. You know, you get on the news and such, so when I walk in and I see the guy from the supermarket chain, he's already seen me on TV. That's <laughs> not bad for business. That's a good business. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah let's, let's talk about that. I mean, a lot of people know the perfect Pac-Man thing, but let's talk about uh, Billy the Hot Sauce. Well, yeah. here's the most exciting thing going on with the hot sauce now. Only a very select few, 72 people, which, of course, you two are in the Elite Club. Oh, yeah. You got the executive bottle of the Classic Gaming Expo 2004 Hot Sauce Limited Edition. I don't know what numbers you guys got, but... I got like six. I'm 60. You're four. I got four, I'm sorry. Four. You're you 60? Got number but one. what number bottle did you get? That's what I mean. Oh! oh. <laughs> Man. No, but the point the is... Flow. It's just <laughs> a It's just a, a little thing, like a friendship thing, that I do it in appreciation for the Classic Gaming Expo and the opportunities they give us. But what I was going to do with the sauce is... For example, there's a friend of mine in Canada who he was in a very bad car accident. He's in rehabilitation, and I'm gonna, um, I'll pick on a guy. I don't know his name, Sandinisti or something. He just got the world record on Galaxian, or it looks like he did. It's being verified. That, so now that takes a lot. No, so if I create yeah. 100 bottles, and we send the 100 bottles out through programs like yours, people who want to collect things, it'll have a picture of him, his score, where he did it, a little story about him. And it's a collector's bottle, just like you saw, just like the one that I gave you. If that raises, m if that bottle, if some of the money goes to the player as a reward for the fact that he got the record, he'll right. actually be get getting paid to break the world record. Imagine that if any of us could ever get any money for this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then a portion. The fame and blondes aren't enough. Got to get some money for that. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, a portion of it could go towards something charitable, like this video game friend of ours who's had this accident. That's couple of different ideas that we're working on. And the last idea is there's great players, like there's guys in Japan and South America, there's Sweden, Finland, and they're really good players, but they don't have the means, basically the money, in order to come here. And if we can do this, if I could create something that would actually be sold in their hometown or their whole home country, and I wouldn't need the money for that, I would create it, and the profit or the dollars from that could be put into a fund that would allow them to travel in order to come here and compete. Again, expanding the scope of competitive gaming. That's, cool. yeah. that, that's a, a real idea that we're working on. Yeah, but you're arrogant, so why, yeah, would, well you, why <laughs> would you do anything like that? I mean, why help other people? Yeah. Well, because when I do good <laughs> things like that, it <laughs> continues to make you guys look bad, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice! So. No, too funny. Too funny. So you're not trying to clear your name at all this year. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that clear. No, this is all humor. So. This is all good stuff. Well, apparently you did not come across humor. Well, you said I did. I thought you, like I said. We're sitting here laughing our asses off, but for some reason they're going to hear something different. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they just taking it all too seriously. Well, scary. you know, you guys all could, right. like, stick up for me a little bit. How many times have we got to say it? That, why do you think we're doing this right now? All That's right. right. Well, I don't know. I, I, I met Steve here for the first time. Have I been, like, a bad guy? No, he's been great. But when we met you last year... You were great. We were, that's why we wanted to interview you. We were like, you got to get Billy on here. He's a, he's, he's a clown. And we got to get some of his pimp halo going on, too. I want to stand next to him. That, that's yeah. too easy. <laughs> <laughs> it might rub off. <laughs> All right. Well, I got a, I got a couple of little leftover little black books. I can give you each one. There you go. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, well, he gets the black book. Can I have the white book? Oh. <laughs> That'd be like that. Well, gentlemen, um, so what's, uh, what's in the future for you guys? Um, you know, you're waiting for that all-important Donkey Kong score to be verified. Yeah. What's next? Media, fun, more scores. Yeah, I think we're still trying to hit that ultimate score. I know Billy is and I am. If my wife, if I can stay married long enough. <laughs> you know what, if you just cut her loose now, <laughs> you'll have more time to play. Yeah. Well, if you could like have your wife listen to this show, we could put yeah. a little pressure on her. Yeah. Because um, like what my wife sport. says, people always ask how supportive of is she in the things you do like coming here 
And her line to me is, you have to do what you enjoy in life. It makes the rest of life bearable. Yeah, isn't, isn't That's a sense. tremendous advantage I have over you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what is your wife's catchphrase? Um, <laughs> get, get a job. Get a yeah, job. Get, get a job. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop wasting your time on video games. Or, uh, after, she said, this is it. You can go down there, but after this, no more no Donkey Kong. I go, yeah, right. Yeah, so she's <laughs> not going to go back, the machine might be gone. So, yeah, the machine might have nice. it. Yeah. She yeah, probably she put it out in the front yard with a sign on it. For, uh, uh, free, free yeah. 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 Free to a good home. Or she'll take everything out of it and make a planter or something or a fish Kitty, tank yeah. out of it. Yeah. <laughs> too funny, too funny. So uh, do you guys have any games that you're specifically going to be working on after this little event's over? Um, well, I got a... Um, that you can divulge, of course. Yeah. It would seem as though I've possibly found a little something that somehow over all these years we missed on Miss Pac-Man and it could mean the difference in a world record, if I'm right. Interesting. And, and I am wrong sometimes, even though you tell me I'm not, I am. So don't try to say that I'm not. <laughs> so, what, so what is that, Zia? He won't tell us. No, it's... Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you after he says right. There's a randomness within the game that creates points. It's the randomness in the fruit. You can control Maybe the there's randomness. something that's not quite so random about it. Yeah. So hmm. looking That'd be great to find out. Yeah. That'd be very cool. That'd be like finding the deep secrets of the Aztecs buried in underground pyramids or something only right. you know and it's not stuff. something that someone could tell by watching you how you did it right correct so the secret will never be let out of the day but it's so uh nice i mean what you want to do ultimately with these games is put up a score that you say to yourself it doesn't matter what i do there, nothing there's no way i can ever beat it because all your skill and all your luck falls together at one time because then you don't have to play anymore yeah, you, can you can go on to like other challenges like i want to see you play popeye Popeye. If I can make a request, I want to Popeye's see you guys get a good high score on Popeye. All right. It's Just for you, we'll, we'll do Popeye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Buy him a machine. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Get it from Portland. He's the one that's making hot sauce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't see retro hot sauce radio going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, guys, for dropping in. Right. Uh, anything you guys want to plug? You got something coming yeah, up? If, uh, so plug the hot sauce. No, if Walter doesn't... Uh, well, see, the reason why I never talk about the hot sauce is <laughs> because I'll look on a forum and I'll see, oh, Billy, his only reason why he plays games is because he wants sauce. to get on there and sell hot sauce. <laughs> if you got up there and bought a bottle of hot sauce for me, the total number of hot sauces I would have sold related to video games, if you bought one, would you be won. one. <laughs> I mean, I give a lot away, but I, you know, it's just fun, I guess. But uh, Everyone needs a hook. What I should do is, if it has, if it isn't all gone, I should give you guys a couple of the collector's bottles here, yes, and please. then you could give them away we can give them right on the air. Sure. We can do that. Whoever calls okay. up and says I'm the biggest SOB, give them nice. a bottle. <laughs> oh, so, okay, let's put out, put out a, a thing right now saying whoever can prove to us and give us a, a send us an email proving how arrogant the individual is. <laughs> yeah, what did I say? Win a free bottle of hot sauce. Well, you can't hear me. I'm not on mic. Well, he'll be able to hear you. That's, that's the, that's the yes, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna put it, put together a challenge. Billy Mitchell's gonna donate yes. us some hot sauce to give away to the first person that can prove convince convince con that can convince, convince us. Convince Retro Gaming Radio that Billy is arrogant and using us. That's right. That, that Billy is using us to sell hot sauce. Uh, we will give you uh, a bottle of hot sauce. Yeah. And you got to explain how I'm using you. I mean, all weekend long, you've been talking to me about coming in here. Finally, your goon over there just grabbed me around the neck and dragged me in here. <laughs> yeah. So he doesn't knock on the door. Let yeah. me in. That's right. That's right. We've got to get this squared away. Well, guys, thanks so much. Um, good luck to both of you in your future high scores. Right. Good luck with your marriage. And getting a job. Um, getting luck with getting a job. <laughs> Billy, um, good luck staying married with uh, the halo of trim that you have around you. Um, well, i got to have someone to pass it off on. You seem like as good as anybody. Right? All right. You shake my hand and give me the power. Right. Yeah. The halo, the halo do, that, do that Christopher Walken bit, right, from Dead Zone? Yeah. The halo of trim? You come from a faraway <laughs> place. Yeah. Too funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks a bunch All again right, for coming yeah. in. Always a fun, Billy. Always play to win. Steve, yep. thanks for having us. You. Good, good, good luck you. on your score. I don't think I'm going to see you good. anymore. Why? You quitting? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's line up more interviews. <laughs> <laughs> when the, when the show's over. Thanks. <laughs> thanks a bunch, man.